Assalamualaikum, Namaste, Khushamadeen. Today we continue our journey of the cultural event from Kashmir to Kanyakumari with the Indian Doctors Forum. A lot of interviews to look forward to and some of the clips from the cultural events. Talking to Dr. Grover, who's a surgeon at the Jahra Hospital and is also the ex-president of IDF. Welcome to our show, Doctor. Thank you so much. Doctor, could you tell us a little bit about your journey within the Indian Doctors Forum? See, the Indian Doctors Forum now entering to 13th year, and I've been associated as a member and then executive member with it for the last early six years. Then my wife became the vice president, and then I got thoroughly involved with that IDF. And then my four years were like two years for vice president and two years for president. When I came to know more and more of the IDF and what doctors can do to the community, because when I got involved with the community, like communal activities, community activities, then it was a different matter. Then I feel like that every doctor should do something for the community. And knowingly that there's big Indian diaspora here in Kuwait, and most of them the underprivileged people here. They don't have the access to the hospitals, clinics and all the easily. So it's better to provide them some camps, some seminars for the community. That's, uh, that's very important. And thank you so much for doing that. As a doctor, what would be your message to our viewers who are watching you tonight? See, one message is clearly for the doctors. They should, they are, I know all Indian doctors are doing very well in the hospitals, but then they should give something to, back to the community. And whatever time they can avail, in any form, they, they should serve the community. For the people, general public, I want to emphasize, especially in Kuwait, two big problems are there, ob obesity and diabetes. Take control of your diet and do exercise as much as you can. This is very prevalent and the prevalence is increasing. To control this disease, we have to cut down right here. Take care of them. Great advices, doctor. But the message for the doctor was superb service to the community, giving back, and for all our viewers, obesity, diabetes. Take care of it. Thank you so much, doctor. Welcome. We're in conversation with Dr. Farooq Belgrami. He's a surgeon. Welcome to our show, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Could you tell us a little bit about your role as a surgeon? Uh, I'm a general surgeon, uh, but a lot of work we are doing uh, with regard to weight reduction surgeries like uh, sleeve gastrectomies, the bypass, uh, abdominoplasties, uh, corrective procedures for uh, uh, cosmetic procedures basically. You get a lot of cases for these kind of things? Yeah, almost every theatre we have. Almost every theatre we have uh, a case of either sleeve or abdominoplasty. It's very common nowadays in Kuwait. Um, tonight you've um, also releasing a health guide in the IDF event tonight. Tell us a little bit about that. You're the editor. Yeah, we are the. We have a good, uh, uh, very nice topic this time. Uh, the health guide is on cosmetic procedures. So uh, we have about 44 articles starting from minimal invasive surgery to extensive surgical operations. Uh, this is all uh, covered in this health guide. How are the people going to get this health guide if they want to reach your house? Uh, actually, we are circulating about uh, uh, 2,000 copies. It's for a common man. 
to know the, about the procedures, to get the exact uh, uh, idea about these procedures before they decide on search. Yes. Thank you so much for this guide. I hope it's going to be useful uh, for our viewers if they get their hands on it. And thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So nice. We're talking to Dr. Preeti Jolly. She's a physician at the Adan Hospital in the endocrinology department. And we've all heard of the four C's, you know, related to diamonds. But let's find out from Dr. Preeti about the four C's of the doctor's profession. Welcome to our show, doctor. Thank you very much. Um, 
The four C's of uh, being a good doctor is first and foremost, the doctor must be competent and the doctor must have excellent communication skills and he should be very compassionate because that's what matters to the patient and last but not the least he should be very confident and uh, uh, being a doctor is a lifelong care and compassion and that's what matters to the profession and that's what our goal should be all our life beautiful message doctor could you tell us a little bit about today's event are you involved in the organization here uh, yes i've all been an active member of indian doctors uh, forum and uh, this is an organization and in fact uh, uh, a place where all the doctors besides their busy schedule uh, get to showcase their talent and um, as I would always say that uh, medicine is just a science, it is an art and here we see a display of it all. Indeed, great message for all our viewers. Any health tip you'd like to give to our viewers? Yeah, we're well, sure. The health tip that is very important for everybody is to follow a very healthy lifestyle that is the most important thing to have a balanced and healthy diet to have an exercise program incorporated into your life and if you do this then you would always take an apple a day and keep the doctor away but in case you do need to seek the doctor we're always there at your help at your service 24 7. Wow that was great thank you so much for talking to us the second home India team thanks you. Thank you very much thank you. We are talking to Dr. Devakar, who is the Vice President of the Indian Doctors Forum. Welcome to our show, Doctor. Thank you very much. Doctor, today I believe you are in charge of the sound and technical part of the event? Yes, I am in charge of uh, audiovisual. And for all these programs, I have made the backdrops with the help of my friends and the team. It's a teamwork. Absolutely. And uh, that gives us how actually we are in uh, India. It depicts the Indian culture in Kuwait. It is as good as we are in India at this moment. And also I expected the grand finale of today, that is the Mysore Dasara. I am the king of Mysore today. I am also acting as a king of Mysore. That explains your get-up, yes. which looks very grand, just befitting a king. Thank you. I am very happy to uh, display that Mysore uh, Kings uh, in a costume. Doctor, what do you think is the importance of these kind of cultural events within the Doctors Forum? See, we are far away from our home and here and we are living with our family and children and our culture, our uh, kids should not miss our culture. They should be aware of our culture. When we go back to India, we should, they should be able to gel well with our uh, Indian customs. So we are conducting all these Indian uh, cultural events so that they know what's happening back home. So I believe uh, doctor is going to rush for the next program. Yes, next is our event that is Grand Finale Mysore Dasara. So thank you very much for the, giving me the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.
We are talking to Dr. Syed Mahmood. Let's find out more about health camps from him. Thank you very much. Actually, we are today celebrating two festivals. We have got uh, Independence Day, Republic Day celebrations, and we are also celebrating the Indian Doctors Forum Doc Fest. Uh, it's a nice function going on right now. Uh, they are everybody is in a celebrating mood, uh, and lots of our Kuwaiti friends are enjoying this function, and they are really happy. And we are also very uh, pleased. Uh, actually, uh, my job is a very tough job because I am conducting health camp. I am charged for conducting all these uh, community services, especially the health camps. And already we have uh, almost conducted uh, half a dozen camps, and we discovered a lot of disease, new diseases. And uh, right now, on 10th and 25th, we have two more incoming camps. They are major camps. We have we uh, cover a lot of you know number of patients, around 1,000 patients. They come with different. Uh, we are uh, we are now uh, requesting all our doctors of different specialties to be with. So, doctor, my question is: uh, Are these camps uh, open for everybody in Kuwait? These camps are open for everybody, all nationalities, whether they are Indians, whether they are Bangladeshis, whether they are Pakistanis, whether any nationality, Filipinos, all labor labor class. We we usually want uh, the people who are unable to attend the hospitals, who are busy in their works. Uh, usually the lower uh, and the middle class people who find some time on weekends, especially Friday, our doctors are sacrificing their time uh, to attend these camps. That's a very uh, good effort on part of the doctors, especially in terms of giving back to the community. Um, so tell us, what kind of people, what kind of diseases have come across? I have to tell you, in the last camp, we had around 500 patients. And you will be surprised to know that we discovered a lot of uh, uh, newly diagnosed uh, sugar patients, diabetics, high blood pressure patients, some patients who are having, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> also we found that uh, they have uh, uh, tumors. Our doctors were, uh, we have especially a team of doctors who are coming from cancer hospital and they are very kind and we, are, we have the facility to even ultrasound and also we are utilizing the facilities of, uh, uh, you know, Kuwait Heart Foundation, they are very courteous to us and uh, we are doing cholesterol checkups and all and many people we are discovering new new this is the th amazing thing that every camp i have a lot of patients who are newly discovered hypertensive diabetics and we are guiding them to proper channels doctor how will uh, the people know to reach this camp the venue the timings how do you advertise for these camps exactly it's a very hard job you know we have we are actually the organizers of these camps along with us we are you know uh, telling from the public, you know, they are uh, registering the patients before, at least at least a month before that we are holding a camp in such and such a school, those people on Friday, and uh, please register yourself if you have any problem, you want to have your checkup, please do come. So all those people, they get aware of the community, you know, they come to know about it, and many people see the banners and these things, you know, and they come to know about it in this center, and this is how we try to help them. Great, thank you so much, Doctor, for talking to us and informing of you. Thank you for giving this opportunity. I want to thank uh, Kuwait Medical Association also because with their help we are able to organize these things. And uh, thank you so much, Kuwait uh, Television, for giving me this chance. Thank you.